Okay, uh, let's try to switch the platform interface to the Vietnamese language. First of all, I need to install the language support. So I go to the start menu, run the control panel, and select uninstall program from programs section. Here is my version of Once Enterprise. Right mouse click, change. Modify is what we need, so next. Expanding the additional interfaces node. And these are all installed languages, and the rest are not installed. Click on the Vietnamese. This feature will be installed. Next, next, install. Finish. OK. Now, to run the platform in Vietnamese, I need to specify the language code in the command line. I know that the code for English is EN, but I'm not sure what code is for Vietnamese. OK, let's find it out. I go to the Tools menu, Options, Once Enterprise Startup, Additional, and here is the platform interface language dropbox. I don't need to set the language here. All I want is just looking up for the Vietnamese language code. And the code is VI. OK. Now I'm closing the designer. And I need to add a parameter to the command line starting once enterprise. I go to the start menu. This is uh, the Once Enterprise shortcut. Right mouse click, Properties, and this is uh, the command line. I go to its end and add LVI here. OK. Windows asks me for uh, administrative privileges. Continue. And now I'm running the platform. And here we go. As you can see, everything but uh, the info basis names and the folder name is in Vietnamese. Running the designer. And all platform strings are in Vietnamese, including the metadata object types, menus, syntax assistant, and so on. But the metadata object names are still in English, because they are not the part of the platform, but the part of the configuration. So we switched the platform language, but the configuration language is still English. Let's run the application. And we see exactly the same picture here. All we named explicitly in the configuration is in English. All platform generated strings are in Vietnamese. Now, let's try to run another one's enterprise, but without the common string parameter. So, um, deleting this parameter here, OK, and running another one's enterprise. And we have all English interface for the current user. So the platform language is defined by the command line parameter and different users can have different platform languages at the same time.